You can download the art seen in the video for free, link in the description. For Raycast Base Shadow in Godot, first, go to the scene that you want to have the shadow. Add a Sprite 2D node to the scene. Right click and select Rename. Rename it to Shadow. Add the R Atlas to the texture that you can download for free, link in the description. Go to Region, Enable, Edit Region. Make sure Grid Snap is enabled. Add a step of 8 pixels by 8 pixels. Scroll in with the mouse wheel and select the shadow. Then go to Ordering and set it to negative 1 so it appears behind the player sprite. Add a Raycast 2D node to the scene. Right click and select Rename. Rename it to Shadow Ray. Change the target position on the Y axis to the height of your game. This is important as we will use this Raycast to determine the position of the shadow. For my game, I will set it to 200 pixels on the Y axis as my viewport height is about 200 pixels. Then enable Hit from inside. This is also important as it allows for collision with overlapping objects when the raycast is loaded into the scene. Go to the script for the object with the shadow. For the player, we will write the code after the move and slide to avoid positioning errors that can occur. First, we check if the raycast is colliding. If so, then we position the shadow to the collision point of the raycast on the y-axis. The collision point of the raycast is the first point of contact of the collider that the raycast is overlapping. Also make sure to affect the shadow's global position as the collision point exists in global position. Then we will define a variable for the distance this object is from the ground. This will be used for changing the shadow's transparency and scale. We do 1.0 minus the local position of the shadow on the y-axis. We then divide this by 120. 1.0 minus makes sure that we start at 1 and keeps the result positive. Dividing this by 120 will allow for more distance to be required to fade out the shadow. A higher number increases the distance needed to fade out and vice versa. We make this a clamp with 0.2 as the minimum and 1.0 as the maximum value. This simply keeps the calculation within those bounds. Then we set the shadow's transparency to the height ratio variable. As for scaling the shadow, we first create a variable for shadow scale set to a max of height ratio. Max simply returns the biggest number in the options separated by the comma, meaning that the minimum value that we will allow the scale to be is 0.6. Finally, we set the scale of the shadow equal to a vector 2 of shadow scale. And now you have a raycast based shadow that has a variable scale and transparency based on the distance to the ground. And don't forget that you can check out the project files link in the description.